Hey, greetings, Fright Nights. I'm Count Jacula. I'm the Horror Guru. And uh, we just saw the documentary film, What We Are in the Shadows, movie all about uh, vampires in New Zealand. It's a vampire comedy in the style of, like, a Christopher Guest comedy. So, basically, think something like Spinal Tap, but instead of, like, you know, like a metal band, it's following a group of vampires who basically live as roommates in this one mansion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's written by uh, one half of the uh, the Flight of the Concords, um, and uh, he stars in the movie as a... Uh, as uh, Vladislav, the uh, the one who's obviously like the Vlad the Impaler, yeah, yeah stand in Vlad, Vlad the poker. Vlad the poker, Vlad the poker, yeah, um, is one of the jokes. Um, let's see, who do we got in this cast? We got uh, we got Viago, the uh, the dandy vampire, the the one who's a little more fey. He's, he's kind of a fussy guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very. He's very effeminate. He's very particular. He's very, he's very clean and neat. There, there's Vlad, who's all about like he's the dark, tortured one who who has his torture dungeon and yeah, and, he's and been around since like the 12th century. Yes, yeah. and and has massive blood orgies and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been to one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There yeah, you go. Yeah. Um, we got guy. Deacon, who. I don't remember if they say when he was turned, but at one point he was a Nazi vampire. Yeah, yeah he's like sixteen hundreds kind <laughs> yeah. of guy, kind of an asshole. Like. Uh, he's German. He's German. Um, he was in the Nazis, and he's supposed to. At, at the start of the story, he is the youngest of the vampires, so he is the most wild. Um, and then you got the oldest one, who is Peter. Who is basically this Nosferatu looking one who's like, who's, who's been there for centuries. Yeah, he's like, hangs out in the basement in his coffin. He's like, and you kind of yeah. get the feeling that, like, I don't know about the other two, but he definitely turned Viago. He was the one yeah. who turned him. Um, uh, I'm, I'm guessing the implication is he turned all of them, but I'm not entirely sure about that. No, no, no he turned, he turned Viago, uh, but okay. you get the feeling that the other two were turned by other people. Okay, okay. They just happened to become friends and live in the same house. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, and uh, as the uh, as the movie shows, they are they show up on film, mm -hmm. which is good because that's always worked for but me. But not in mirrors, not yeah, in mirrors. They, they, they get some funny gags of people like holding objects. Yeah, their clothes ap don't appear in mirrors either. They never explain that. Just if you're wearing it, not. But if you're holding it, it will just float like floating skull glass. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot, a lot of vampires have, like, this kind of, like, strange invisibility field that, mm -hmm. that applies, but only, like, so far away from your body, mm -hmm. so... Makes sense. Know, Makes sometimes... sense. Vampire expert right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You well, know, he's from the planet Dracula, I mean. No, you know... Dracula knowledge. Yeah. Like, well, the big... Yeah, it's a it's a big problem. Like, it was, it was even a really... It was a really big problem because we didn't used to be able to show up on camera because cameras used to have mirrors. Oh. It was a big issue. And, but now the digital age, we're, uh, we're kind of cool. Uh-huh. I also figured out how to get around that problem. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah. I see. So if, if it wasn't, it'd be like this? Whoa! He's gone! Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's... man. It's like he's not even there. Yeah, if you don't, if you don't, you don't learn to control it, this is... This is pretty much what happens all right so whoa, whoa there you are yeah. hey hey it's like he disappeared um <laughs> this might be the worst effect we've ever done <laughs> bar none <laughs> um this movie's fucking hilarious this this is oh yeah yeah really good it's it's a whole lot of um uh fuck up a way of putting it it's it's i almost want to call it subtle humor but it's not really subtle because it's 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 dry and deadpan. Dry and deadpan. That's a good way to put it. It's a whole lot of dry and deadpan humor, but it's hitting you like rocket fire one after another, like really good jokes. And yeah, of course you got the joke of like, you know, the dude like, you know, vacuuming the wall while he's yeah, floating. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's fucking awesome. The vampire fight. Yeah. Like, like where, they, where they turn into bats and they have a bat fight and it's just these little bats on strings. <laughs> like, Oh. Oh. I'm all wet. The movie made me all wet. It's a good movie that way. It's good. It's good. So, yeah, the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, I, I feel bad because 
It's a really funny movie. It's a really good movie, and I highly recommend it to anybody who likes Christopher Guest style documentaries or um, is just really into vampires. It's a great, it's a great addition to the vampire, you know, legacy of films. But I don't know exactly what to talk about beyond it's, well, it's awesome. It's because most of the jokes don't come from things that happen. It's just watching these guys interact with each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. You know, the fact that Vladislav is like this very like kind of decadent mm -hmm. vampire, but he's having like a crisis of confidence yes. because he has had a fight with this character he just constantly refers to as the Beast, who is this other the vampire. The Beast who thwarted him back in the day. Yeah. The Beast who he had many a battle with. The beast who uh, is the reason why he can't... Uh, he he, he can't fully transform anymore. Yeah, he can't, he can't fully can't... transform. He can only transform the body, but not the face. So you end up with these creepy, like, this cat with, like, like uh, 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 God damn it, I forget his name. But Vlad's Vla love. With Vlad's Vlad's face. Yeah, yeah, Vlad's face on it. Um, yeah, and they kind of make the... Uh, they kind of imply that all the classic medieval pictures of like monsters with people faces are like pictures of him. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. They make a lot of awesome implications like that over, over the course of yeah, the, they about, do about certain things. Um, yeah, and by the end of it, you find out there are not just vampires around. Yes, there are werewolves, zombies, zombies, witches. Yeah, and succubi and succubi. Is yeah, even though they're not really given a lot of prominence. Yeah, they're yeah. just they establish that there's demons. That yeah, just straight up straight demons. up demons. You know, it's brought up. It's not shown like the other ones, but it is brought up. You know, as a possibility. Um, uh, the werewolves in this are hilariously nerdy for yes like, they're, they're like they're like the goody two shoes kind of nerds like the, the, one of the things they keep saying is that it's werewolf not, not swear wolf <laughs> um um and they are they're just straight up computer nerds but they're very very goody two shoes and they can't they they, they, they uh I don't, I don't know how to I don't know how to put it. It's it's oh they're really they're really they're really prissy prissy. That's a good way to you put know, it. Yeah, they're really prissy. They they're always trying to be really good and like every bad human habit is basically like they're in an AA for and that yeah. AA is the pack of werewolves. Yes, yes. You know, so you shouldn't swear. You shouldn't drink. You should smoke. You know, like shit like that. But. You know, by the end of the movie, like that, that doesn't last. Absolutely, you know, <laughs> absolutely, things happen. Things yeah, happen. things happen. They A do. character they meet and like ends up joining the werewolf pack. Let's just say, yeah. <laughs> which brings up another thing that happens, which is one of the deals is that the deacon, the former Nazi vampire, mm -hmm. has a thrall. You know, a familiar human That's right. who does That's all right. of his bidding, who is this girl that he has promised immortality to, and now she's getting worried because she's start she's gonna hit forty soon. Mm -hmm. And she's like, and when you're a vampire, when you're turned that you, you're just, you're, you're stuck, just that stuck that way forever. They even establish early on, like people who are turned as kids who uh, go and prey upon pedophiles. Yeah, so. yeah. Oh god, those <laughs> that, characters are great. That was great. <laughs> Yeah, so she wants to be turned, but Deacon's being a complete douchebag about it. Yeah, yeah. It's obvious that he doesn't even plan to actually turn her. Like, these vampires are bad with their familiars. Like, there's... Yeah, they're there's, just really awful. There's a familiar they introduce later for Viago, who's, like, turned, like, 80 or something. It's just like, you were supposed to turn me, and I am now old. What have you done? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she's supposed to bring them victims, and they do... Unfortunately, one of them escapes. Her ex-boyfriend escapes. Yeah, her ex-boyfriend escapes. Uh, she she brings in one of her ex-boyfriends. I I think it's implied it's like from like middle school boyfriend. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, <laughs> brings in to become one of their uh, uh one of their meals, and he escapes, and Peter turns her. Turns yeah, the Nosferatu him. guy at the last minute like captures him and turns him into a vampire, and it flash forwards to it flash forwards to a month later, and he's now he, and he's now like the new guy who's part of the pack, and he's now the new youngest one. So. Yeah. Yeah, so Deacon doesn't like him because he's, yeah. like, threatening his coolness. Exactly. And their social dynamics have now shifted. Yeah. And the But the biggest problem is, is despite the fact that this new guy, Nick, is now a vampire, he is the lamest douchebag 
douchebag <laughs> on the fucking planet. Nobody likes him. He's like that douche that keeps going to parties when he's way too old to be at the party. Yeah. Like, like it's one thing to go to a party with the, with people around your age, but when you're like in your late 30s and you're still going to 20 something parties, like it Yeah, it gets a <laughs> little weird. You know, like it gets a little strange. And like and not even like you've been invited, like you just show yeah. up. Yeah, he comes across like that guy. Um, and he's also, he's also really douchey about the fact that he tells everyone that he's a vampire. Yeah, after they specifically <laughs> tell him you can't tell people yeah. you're a fucking vampire. But he realizes if he tells people they're a vampire, it's the Twilight Age, he can get laid, but... But that never works <laughs> that for never him. never works. <laughs> One of the things I love about this movie is it does what Christopher Guest did with Spinal Tap, where it presents being a vampire as being a, a lot lamer than you expect it to be, but making that lameness still awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know, which is the same thing Christopher Guest did in Spinal Tap with the, uh, with, uh, with the Spinal Tap band. Like, they were presented as like, oh, the glamour of being a rock star is not really that glamorous, but like, their kind of lameness is still presented as really awesome. Yeah. You know, like, like, oh man, like, we can't have this awesome Stonehenge thing, but they still perform on the tiny Stonehenge and it's awesome. <laughs> With like a little how, leprechaun. It's dick. so yeah. lame, it comes back around to being just cool. Yeah, yeah, this movie does that a lot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, because I, by the end of it, I'm like, you know what, if vampires were like that, I wouldn't mind being that kind of lame vampire. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That sounds yeah. kind of like, fun. Kind of, kind of <laughs> put yourself in that situation, you know. Oh, they are. They do burn in sunlight, like full on, like, yes. It turns in, you know, in flame. Poor, poor Peter. Yeah, one of them gets killed because like, uh, Nick, the douchebag, the guy who, the young guy, he uh, he decides that he one of the people he tells he's a vampire is a guy who just straight up says like, and I'm a vampire hunter. He's like, yeah, sure you are. And then the next day, Peter is killed because he bursts in, and Peter is burned in the sunlight. And, and yeah, and they can't help him because they're all vampires. Yeah, yeah they, so they you know, can't they go can't down. Do anything. And so like Vlad's like running to like the kitchen and like. Pu- pouring water in and trying to dump it on poor Peter as he burns alive. Yeah. Yeah. And because you get the, like they, they say that like Peter's like 8,000 years old. And so you get the feeling like he's a little doddering. Yeah. Like, so they're trying to get him to like come up the stairs so they can put the fire out. He's just like, eh. yeah, yeah. He's he, at this point, he's got like vampire Alzheimer's. Yeah. Like he's, <laughs> he's not quite there and he doesn't quite remember everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> He moves around like Lurch. Like Yeah, yeah, he does. The guy who the guy who plays him did a really good job. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. He totally got like the physicalness of, of the Nosferatu vampire. Yeah, but the, the other joke with Nick is that Nick has this friend who works with him or worked with him when he was human called Stu. Yeah, that's right, Stu. Yeah, you know, Stu's just like this normal techie IT guy. And and he tells Stu about his about his uh about his vampirism and Stu just kind of accepts it and so he starts bringing Stu over to the vampire place. And at first they're like, "Oh no, a human, we got to eat him." But then over time they start to like Stu more than Nick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they like the friend more than they like the dude. And just... Stu is like just just he's, he's such a lame nobody, but like the joke is they just adore him. Yeah. <laughs> to the point where they throw Nick out of the house, but they go, Stu, you're, you're still cool. You can still come if you like. If you like, you can still come over. Deacon, the Nazi vampire, starts like knitting him sweaters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when Stu, Stu stops coming over because Nick stops coming over, they have separation anxiety. Yeah, they feel bad. <laughs> it's so stupid, but it's so funny. <laughs> And presented so just dry and, 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 and even though it's goofy, real. Yeah. You know? Oh my uh, God. Um, spo- spoilers. <laughs> spoilers now. Um, the joke with the beast comes to a beautiful head where it turns out this beast he's been talking about this entire time, the fucking monster that keeps bringing him down, that took away his powers, his ability to mind control thousands and legions. Turns out the person who did that is his ex-girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> the, the ex that is like, that relationship is just so horrible, <laughs> he's just forever scarred. <laughs> And we find this out because uh, they get invited to this uh, vampire ball, this vampire underworld ball. It's it's yeah, the unholy masquerade. It's yeah, it's being held by the vampires, but all the other uh, 
uh, factions are allowed to come. Yeah, like the witches are also there. Absolutely. You know. Only thing not allowed to come are the humans. Those dirty, nasty humans. Yeah, and of course, like you think, you think you like the you know, the. the the Unholy Masquerade, it's going to be like this beautiful, lavish event. No, it's like held in a bingo hall. Yeah. 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 It's like, a, it's it's held in a bingo hall and it feels like prom. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like a really lame prom. Um, there's a run-on joke where Viago, the dandy one, um, who, for lack, of, for lack of a better way of putting he's kind of presented as the main Yeah, vampire. he's the main character. He's the one who introduces us to all the other characters. Yeah, he's, he's the most sympathetic, you know? You know? Uh, there's a run-on joke where every year they go to the Unholy Masquerade, and every year it's a costume party. Um, and he always ends up going as the worst possible costumes he can go. Um, God, what was the first one? Uh, the first one he went as... Oh, yeah, that's right. He went as um, Whoopi Goldberg in Sister yeah. Act, which meant he wore, wore a nun outfit. And more importantly, <laughs> a cross. A cross. Uh, which the vampires are, are fucking like the cross. Like they can't even look at it. It'll hurt them. <laughs> which didn't go over well. And then at the current one, he decides to go as Wesley Snipes in Blade. Blade, yeah. Who's a vampire hunter. He's like, you can't go as Blade. He's a vampire hunter. <laughs> Uh, um, he's got this whole storyline where there was this woman that he loved like years ago that fell in love with someone else and so he kind of let her go but he kind of yeah. regrets yeah yeah and he decided to chase her all the way to New Zealand yes um, but his familiar did not handle the shipping correctly yes and so he was in fucking the dead letter office for like 18 years before he finally arrived there you go that was that, that that's the whole story. that's right he's you know? got it right and he's <laughs> and, and, and at that point he had lost connect lost touch with everybody until yes. like vladislav and deacon ran into him yep yep <laughs> um they have a happy ending uh he yeah. gets together with her she's like 80 years old he turns her um, and she gets to be an old vampire, and they, they fall in love, and it's kind of beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of beautiful. It's, it's lovely. Uh, st uh, Nick stupidly brings Stu to the masquerade, um, which causes a scene. Uh, everyone f figures out there's a human there and wants to eat him, uh, because A, humans are tasty, and B, he could be a hunter, so we can't take the risk. Yeah. Um, so they have to... They have to, they have to you know, work their way out of that party. And then when they do, they get out of the party with Stu unscathed. They run into the werewolves again on the night they're turning. <laughs> yep, because it's full moon. Yes. And uh, the werewolves tear apart some of the camera crew. <laughs> and uh, kill Stu. Or should I say, turn Stu. Turn Stu. <laughs> So they go through this whole mourning period of Stu being dead, and then Stu shows up at their doorstep like, hey, I'm alive, and I brought new friends, and then the werewolves come in, and they... Yeah, they kind of get, they start to get along. And because of Stu, like, the bond between the vampires and the werewolves is mended, <laughs> and they become friends. They just have to get over the smell. Yeah. <laughs> um, One of the other running jokes is the cops. Yes. Yes. You know, like these really like kind of polite cops that overly come over. they're, they're almost like Canadian polite cops. Yeah, yeah, super polite. You know, it's it's it, they're, they're 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 New Zealand cops, but they come across like uh what what's her name does in um uh Fargo. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, but like like even nicer and and one of the things about the vampires in this movie is they have the power to hypnotize people mm -hmm. and you can just suggest anything you can just be like all right you're gonna you won't see anything unusual mm -hmm. you'll see nothing out of the ordinary and so the entire time they're showing them these rooms and they're like dead bodies <laughs> and blood all over the place and like at one point they walk into a room and i think it's like vladislav is like floating up on the <laughs> ceiling and he's like <laughs> and the entire time the cops are just like uh, no everything's okay wait what's that what's that another room without a fire alarm <laughs> and it seems a little tense too because it's established that viago is not very good at the hypnotizing thing and he's the one who answered the door yeah <laughs> and they're investigating uh because uh the the vampire hunter uh who attacked and there was a whole lot of screaming when peter burned up 
So they're investigating the screams. <laughs> yeah, and so they, someone saw someone breaking into the yes. house, so somebody called the police. Yes, you know. Um, yeah, it's a really good movie. Yeah, yeah, really good movie. I feel movie. bad because now we're just like going over jokes in the movie, and and I feel like you should experience them for yourselves because they're not going to be nearly as funny as us talking about them. Um, or rather, us talking about them is not nearly as funny as they are in the there movie. There you go. That's, that's, you know? that's <laughs> Brain. I'm stupid. Yeah. But hey, check out what we do in the shadows is currently on still on the VOD. Mm -hmm. It should uh it, it did hit video video, I believe. Yeah, I believe, I believe so. It's available. You can I buy it. So as far as I'm aware. Yeah, and you should absolutely check it out, and we will see you later. Oh my god, he's gone! Oh my god, I'm wet. <laughs> Worst vlog ever. Two.